then it's gonna get super cold. It's a quiet morning with no wind, it's around minus 7 or minus 8 degrees Celsius and it's calm before the snowfall I guess. Late November, not a whole lot of snow but you could ski out here if you wanted to. Well, cheers! a lovely Sunday morning. Today it's kind of mellow, it's seven, minus seven degrees Celsius, but uh, tomorrow it's gonna be down to minus 22, so that's a completely different ballpark. That's like more harsh winter temperatures uh, for November. I don't know if I'm gonna stay up here on the high mountain plateau or I'm gonna drive down into the valleys. Uh, I have to go and empty my toilet anyway today and uh, usually it, when it clears up uh, it gets super cold down in the valleys so it's a bit early for those cold temperatures yet but that's fine. Wow, the sun is beautiful behind the mist here.
it's getting quite cold. Minus 15, it is uh, only 5.30. So it's time for dinner. I'm uh, gonna make some uh, comfort food today. Gonna have some sausages with uh, spinach and french fries and cheese. Really hungry now. Didn't have dinner yesterday, so just some sandwiches. So need something more filling today. Cheers. Well, minus 16 outside now. I actually think I'm gonna turn this into a burrito again. Usually my comfort food burritos. Been a lot of burritos this winter so far. Like it's getting really cold. Uh, I think we can expect minus 20 degrees Celsius. Um, that should uh, be interesting. It's been half a year since I had such temperatures, or more than half a year, seven, eight months. I'm always kind of a little bit anxious about the first real uh, heavy cold. It takes a while to get back in the habit of the extreme temperatures, but that's fine. It's uh, good fun and it's so pretty when it's cold. They film Casablanca in Casablanca. Yeah. Box, you mean. Four walls of pine, which is... Well, a coffin is what it is, mister.
What a beautiful winter day. Exploring new areas. Still only November. So now I'm gonna drive over this mountain pass here, place I've never been before but looks awesome. So uh, gonna make a right here and uh, start climbing. I'm always excited right. for new places to go. This is some steep stuff here. <laughs> I'm glad I got my Nokian tires. It just makes such a difference. Wow, getting up on the high mountain plateau now. This is awesome.
All right, it's uh, snowing pretty heavily. Uh, spent a couple of days uh, down in a slightly warmer climate to finish up a couple of videos. So I got a couple of days worth, worth of uh, work done. And now I'm uh, heading up into the mountains again. And uh, it's a big snow day today, snowing a lot. So this is fun. Never been here before, so this is uh, kind of cool. I always love experiencing new places. So let's have a look. We're going up across uh, some mountain passes, so let's hope the road is open. Doesn't look like there's any closures according to the websites. Out here is the famous uh, Heroes of Telmark. Uh, uh, building or power station from World War II. Uh, they made a movie called Heroes of Telmark from that. It's uh, out here somewhere. The Nazis that had conquered Norway were trying to build an atomic bomb, so they developed uh, heavy water. I don't know really what it's called over there, that building there. And uh, some Norwegian saboteurs uh, flew in up on the mountain and uh, sabotaged that production of uh, heavy water. So that's uh, one of the most famous World War II sites um, in Norway, actually. So, right here in this beautiful valley. I did not expect this massive snow weather up here today. I expected it to be incredibly cold, but uh, not like this. It's not cold now, it's barely below freezing. But this snowy weather is kind of awesome. This is like straight out of the game uh, Skyrim. Well, this is pretty crazy. <laughs> Marshmallow land.
don't think I'm gonna find a place to park up here in this weather. All the parking lots are completely snowed in, so... Should be only four kilometers to where I had planned to park, but... That's probably not gonna happen. I can never imagine they have plowed that parking lot. Well, this is pretty cool. They just plowed this big parking lot here. Perfect place for camping here. Gotta love this. Just the perfect spot and I think it's gonna stop snowing and then it's gonna get super cold. Uh, that's on the forecast so I'm gonna stay up here and uh, it's getting dark in half an hour or an hour so I'm not gonna continue over the mountain today. It should be a beautiful drive tomorrow or the day after or whatever I'm gonna do. Gonna turn around so I can look out my sleeping room window towards the water. So I got my insulation mats installed, the front windows. This is quite nice, with all the snow here, very cool.
<laughs> Didn't expect this, it wasn't on the forecast, but gotta love snow whenever you can get it. Getting some extra insulation on the van here. It's actually not that cold right now. It's more like uh, it's just below freezing actually. So the snow is uh, really nice and balmy almost. the ventilation for the heater. And this is inside. So nice and cozy inside. And out here is the lake. Well, good morning. And the sunroof here. Still snowing. Quite uh, beautiful outside. Might have to get up here and clear this snow. Get the ventilation cleared. There's some ventilation around the sun roofs here. This seems to have cleared itself. The sonar panel though is completely covered, but there's no use in it this time of year anyway. Minus 11.2 now. Well, good morning. It's been snowing a lot through the night, so I'm probably snowed in here a little bit. That is cool. I love being snowed in, so no problem there. i uh, gonna start the day with the most important meal of the day, which is coffee. Finally, the coffee. You can feel the calmness and energy rushing back. It's November 30th, not even December yet, uh, but it's so dark outside. Only a few hours of daylight every day. Get very short days in winter, but we got some amazing lights through the night. Beautiful stars, and northern lights and stuff. And snow at night is just amazingly beautiful. So today I'm gonna head uh, further west. Uh, the plan is to stop by in my hometown for Christmas. And then I'm gonna head north afterwards. Uh, gonna head... Uh, I think the plan is to go up towards the Arctic to Lofoten in January, February. Never been in Lofoten in winter, so that should be exciting. 
got a lot of stuff to explore up there in winter so I'm gonna be looking at some maps now and starting to plan that out so in case you have noticed I have set up membership on my YouTube channel uh, you can join here on the channel to get access to perks and exclusive videos and uh, exclusive posts and uh, stuff like that if you want to support the channel weather is clearing so it's getting colder minus 11.4 now still in November
this is gonna get cold. It's already minus 11. Minus 12 and it is only 4 o'clock. This should get interesting. It drops fast now. Minus 12.3. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the temperature outside for sure. But what a place. Look at this. That's uh, two minutes later. I didn't have uh, breakfast or lunch today, so it's 4.30 now. I'm gonna have this little pizza bun. Look at this. Beautiful and cold. Okay, it's uh, dinner time and today I'm making a simple meal of uh, egg and tomato sandwiches. It's so cold here. Uh, the wind is howling and uh, it's uh, minus 13 degrees Celsius. It's gonna get down to minus 15 to minus 17. So it could be really cold. You could feel that uh, the van is not too well insulated against uh, heavy wind. So the combination of uh, biting cold temperatures and the wind is a little bit hard to handle. The heater is running on full power, so it is comfortable in here, but uh, it's gonna spend a lot of propane on this. Anyway, let's get some dinner going. gonna be good. This is gonna be nice. Let's see what happens with the tomatoes if they go swish. Mm. Love it. The tomato on the first one didn't go swish. So let's see, second one. That's the taste of Christmas to me.
That did it. Yeah, find another vehicle. Yeah. And a match of her. Minus sixteen and a half. It's the low point through the night. Let's get some heat in here. Oh wow. That's amazing. Oh, good morning. Got my coffee. And how about this view? Wow. Got down to minus 16 and a half degrees uh, through the night. Uh, and right now it's uh, minus 15. Uh, sun is just uh, peeping out. It's uh, 10.30 and uh, it's hopefully warming up the van a little bit. I have been running the temperature at 12 degrees Celsius through the night, which was uh, quite comfortable. But I can feel that uh, there's a lot of uh, cold coming in under the seats and also uh, through the window areas. So might be looking at upgrading something there, doing something, maybe adding some insulation with Velcros or something. Uh, last year I didn't have the need for any of that, I felt, but I'm maybe a little bit more picky about it this year. Anyway, it's nice to have a cup of coffee and just uh, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful winter scenery while I'm getting some work done on my computer here. I'm gonna head out and give you a drone overview later on. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing started. Uh, it's been was it what where was it minus 16 and a half and now it's minus 14 it's around noon so hopefully it'll start yep little bit slow but uh, no problem really very nice so now I'm gonna let it run for a while and I'm gonna head outside and uh, uh, show you this area from my drone this window is totally frozen up <laughs> This is probably the front window as well. Yep. Good thing I have these covers here. <laughs> That's a lot of ice today. But this window is clear. Thank you. 
out here is the Haudangajökulm glacier. Pretty cool to see it from my van here. It's uh, dinner time again, and today I'm making some uh, grilled cheese with eggs and tomatoes and uh, chili mayo. Mmm. Marvelous. And then we got Matt's off-road recovery here. It's uh, Friday night. It's uh, currently... Well, Friday night. It's uh, 5 in the afternoon and it's currently minus 12 degrees outside. Pretty warm and cozy in here now with my food. <laughs> 